Hot off the back of winning a national award for their community work, members of the Prince's Trust based at Highbury College join us now to tell us what their organisation is all about and what this award means to them. Well guys, thank you so much for coming in and Chris, we were having a little bit of talk earlier saying that maybe for some of our audience they might not know what the Prince's Trust is or what they do, so just give us a brief introduction to you guys. So the Prince's Trust as a whole is a charity that was set up by Prince Charles back in 1978. Uh, it's to go out and help people of different backgrounds just to enable them to do more and get more out of life. Uh, what we deliver here in Highbury College is the Prince's Trust Team Programme, which is a 12-week programme which takes people through employability, teamwork and communication skills. Uh, these guys here were part of the first ever LDD team. Uh, we piloted it earlier this year. Um, on the t during the 12-week programme, they have a bit of an introduction week. They do a week's residential in the New Forest then go off and do three weeks community project, then they go into a work experience for three weeks, followed by a, a next steps, which is a CV in an uh, interview skills week, loads of different workshops, and then they do two weeks of a team challenge, so helping people in the community, working with people, and then into a final presentation week where they go out and give a nice presentation to people. Excellent, and that's where this award came into play. So Jason, you were saying to me as well that uh, kind of for the community projects this is where you guys have been recognized yeah we um obviously we won this with our community project we've been doing different stuff like we're doing like sponsors we were doing sponsored silence and we were doing a sponsored walk and we were doing a sponsored silence and there was obviously one person who is the most <laughs> annoying and the most noisy person are they here Yes. <laughs> they know who they are. Yes, it's Hannah, <laughs> who's just right behind me here. Surely not. She's been rather quiet now. So. <laughs> yeah, and we've been doing, like, we were going down to the day centre, Portsmouth Day Centre, that's where we were for the community project. And we were doing, basically, helping out tidy the garden, painting the shed, we were painting it more like a bluish, like, colour, and also doing their uh, music room, putting music, like symbols up and just basically redecorating it, make it more suited towards uh, these people because, uh, and we only chose it because of these people because we're all pretty much with um, disabilities and all that. And we recognise that this is the one for us mm -hmm. as we are all disability people and we felt this is more the most comfortable thing and the most comfortable environment we can use. Okay. Now, obviously, people do community work for all sorts of different reasons, not necessarily to get praise, but surely getting an award for your community work must feel pretty good. Yeah, it feels really, like, shocking and amazing as well, and being, potentially getting into the nationals and seeing Prince Charles and all that, it's really, really going to be exciting. I hope we do win. Fantastic. And yeah. Chris, you're saying that this was the first sort of trial of uh, LDC gr groups in for Prince's Trust, but actually the idea is possibly to roll it out nationally. Yeah, so we, uh, Hybrid College uh, rolled it through the Prince's Trust as a, a pilot scheme uh, to do an LDD specific group. Uh, not on most uh, Prince's Trust teams, you take a, a selection of anyone and everyone mm -hmm. to give everybody the opportunity. But we thought it would be best to do a, a just LDD team to try and give them the best out of the team program, which, as you can see by these guys and their outcomes, the, it has been a success. We've now run a second team, which is just finished on Friday, mm -hmm. um, and the, all the inf background information from it has uh, been passed back to the trust and hopefully they're going to be rolling out across the country in the next few months. Wow, and hopefully this isn't the, the last success that you guys see from this scheme as well. Well, that's it. We've uh, we won the s regional uh, award for the community impact, and automatically get put forward for the nationals. Mm -hmm. So we can only hope that we've got stand a chance against the, the other regions. Fantastic. Well, I suppose the only thing we haven't really spoken about is if there's anybody out there maybe wanted to get involved and come and see what the Prince's Trust has to offer. What would they need to do? Uh, there's a couple of different options. They can one. There's a, if they go onto the Highbury College website, they can get directed onto the Princess Trust page mm -hmm. and put in an application that way. They can contact Princess Trust Online. Uh, Princess Trust Online will then direct them to the appropriate delivering partners in their vicinity. So if they're in a uh, Portsmouth area, they'll come straight to us. Fantastic. Um, apart from that, yeah, just straight in. Or if they're in the job centres, 
we're, not, we're going around the job centres for the next few months. Excellent. Well, guys, honestly, very well done. Congratulations for this award. Hopefully it's the start of bright things to come. Thank you so much all for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.